So you might be wondering what the heck is going on right now. What? Why is there so many Skeleboys boys flexing the Radiant Apex mounts on top of the flag at the Undaunted Enclave? Well, this is what happens when there is a content drought in ESO and us PvP players have more fun jumping on top of a flag than actually playing PvP in the Elder Scrolls Online. This is all part of a million gold challenge. I'm going to show you guys how we got here. What's up guys, Horcrux here. Welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how we arrived at the 1 million gold challenge. Now I will be doing these very, very often, probably once a week. So if you haven't already, please like and sub to the channel, hit the bell notification icon so you are actually notified when I post these challenges. They will either be in a YouTube community post or posted during a live stream and YouTube will not notify you of any of that unless you hit the bell icon. It's something they gotta work on, but yeah, who cares? I'll let you guys on a little secret. A couple months after any patch releases, ESO is completely dead of content, okay? You either have a build, you either have a guide, a gold farming guide, a new add-on, new trial, new tutorial. After two months, it's over, man. You have to wait another three months until the next patch comes out. So in the meantime, us ESO content creators have to figure out a way to clickbait you guys to come in. We still have to get clicks on our channel, otherwise we starve. Nah, and then in all seriousness, uh, I thought this was really fun. Um, this is probably the most fun I've ever had in the Elder Scrolls Online in the past year. Okay, I've done nothing but PvP, and this little 10 minutes of this challenge j just made my day. It made everyone's day at the Andana Enclave and Stormhaven. I think this is what ESO really needs. On top of that, guys, I also do a PvP Top 5 series. If you're interested, submit your clips down in the battle form submission below. Now, let's get into the video. So all this started was because I was having a bad day. Every single battleground I was in was constant sweats. Like you can tell in the background, I am completely stacked in this battleground and we we're getting absolutely smushed in Chaos Ball. Yeah, granted we're playing more of a team deathmatch than actually playing Chaos Ball, but no one will fucking die, man. And it just frustrates the absolute piss out of me. And when you go through every back to back back battlegrounds again and again and again it's the same pvp sweats over and over and over it just gets so monotonous there's no incentive so i went to open world on my bomber and guess what i got absolutely shit on as well because everyone else had 35k health and if you are solo it is damn near impossible to bomb an organized ball group it it just is having the 35k Health threshold is an absolute bullshit thing to have. No lie, guys. I even tried joining up with the Zergs and they would not allow me because your boy Horcrux did not have 35k health. Anyway, that's a video for another time. I digress. So upon coming out of this battleground, man, I was I was livid. So to decompress a little bit, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna toss my gold at some people, but it's not gonna be for free. I'm at least gonna have some entertainment out of this. And that's just what I did. This is how the million gold challenge came about. So the concept is very, very simple. Take your mount, take yourself, and place it upon this flag. That's that's literally it. I do not care how you get up here. The first person to do so gets a million gold. So it all started with a slash Y. Once you go slash Y, there's absolutely no going back. I proposed in zone chat, the first person to get on top of this flag is gonna get a million gold. So I knew I would get some PvP people, but I had no clue that I would actually have the entire group of people at the Undaunted Enclave trying to get this million gold. So while the challenge did start out pretty slow, I had no clue it would take off like this. It was just me and my buddy trying to get on top of this godforsaken flag. I knew it can be done because I've seen people do it before. And there's a trick to it, which I will discuss later on. But so as time progressed, we got more and more people. At one point, I think we had like 30 or 40 people trying to get up on top of this fucking flag. And people was even trying to be cheesy on their sorcerer, trying to get on top of the tent, trying to streak over to no avail. Oh my god, look at everyone trying to get up here, man. Like, the trick... <laughs> He's zoomed over that. Oh my god, dude. The trick to this jump, actually, is to not go full sprint. Because when you go full sprint, you actually ricochet off this little target dummy. or what? The, the, there's like a little, a little object in the way that kind of detours you from actually getting the proper trajectory. You see some people's already figuring it out. That was so close. Look at this big green boy. Now, as the challenge goes, you're supposed to land up there with your mount. 
Um, landing up there with your mount is a little bit harder than actually jumping off your mount to getting on top of the flag, but no one was really able to do it, so I was accepting anyone to get up on top of the flag at this point. And you can see me now, I'm actually starting to figure out the jump in the correct position you're supposed to be on. Oh my god, the lizard was so close in the dress! <laughs> And we almost get it there. You even saw someone jump from the wall way in the background trying to land on this damn thing. <laughs> I think you stand a better chance of launching yourself off this little ramp than yeeting yourself out of the entire city of Stormhaven. Oh, look at that. The lizard in the dress. This is Xerxes. He was the very first person to get up here that I saw. And I even tried to convince him to come down, but uh, he absolutely wasn't having it. I'm a man of my word, so I sent him the million gold. I actually mistyped his name, so we actually didn't get the million gold and the battleground queue popped before I could change it. I swear, guys, on my mounts live that I did send him the million gold. It just so happens I couldn't record it, but he got his gold. Everyone was happy, and I actually got Jude out of another 500k because I initiated this challenge yet again for 500k. I went into my battleground, I came back, and I saw a second person on top of the flag. I thought nothing of it, I sent the player 500k, well turns out he was a warden and he just used his vines to get up to the top of the flag, so your boy Horcrux got finessed, but uh, that's what I'd get guys. If you want to see more challenges and more stupid content like this, please like and sub to the video, comment down below what you potentially might want to see. Do not forget to follow me on Twitch and Twitter if you have a PvP battle, submit it in the battle submission form down below. This has been Horcrux and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.